Pokemon, a game that has been enjoyed around the world for decades. Original fans have grown from children discussing how to capture Mew from under the truck while playing on the playground, to full-grown adults inventing new ways to play the original games and even creating their own. One of these fan-made games is called Radical Red. A Pokemon Fire Red ROM hack, this game has much higher difficulty than standard Fire Red. With its recent 4.0 update, this game contains every Pokemon through Generation 9, a physical special split, completely updating the game to align with modern competitive Pokemon. Today I will be attempting to conquer this beast of a game on my very first run, but not just in a regular old run, in a Nuzlocke. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I will be giving away a Nintendo Switch and a copy of Scarlet or Violet if we hit 10k subs before the end of the year. This game starts by allowing you to choose the region of your starter, therefore allowing you to take any starter from the regular games. I chose Johto and grabbed Totodile, for Alligator gets access to a strong ability, Strong Jaw, and gets some pretty powerful moves. Not to mention a water type is pretty nice for Brock. This game also has a ton of encounters, so I'll grab as many of them as I can before we have to face our first boss, Faulkner. You might be wondering why there's a Johto gym leader in Fire Red, but get used to it, this game throws in a ton of extra boss fights, which is one of the reasons it's so tough. This was my first run on the new version, and there were no accurate documentations out, so I went into the Faulkner fight blind, and here's what happened. So us three Pokemon still starts with roughly- is it always level 12? It seems low. I forgot about that move. Oh, we're dead. Oh, I missed! <laughs> what is this? What new Pokemon? Flash! <laughs> yeah! We're back, baby! That's a completely different team. Two of those three Pokemon. The Amolga's gone. That's the hardest Pokemon. Forgot about Rock Smash. That was a mistake since we are, what, quad weak to it? Nintendo's that crazy, baby. Immediately after defeating Faulkner, we have access to the first Kanto gym leader, Brock. Surely Brock's team won't end our run, right? We don't know all the changes yet. There's slight changes and apparently major changes to teams as well. All right, Geodude's still here. Bulldoze, okay. Ice Shard. What is that? Is that a... Is that a... A, a screw? What is this thing? It's metal and... Steel and point. Wait, it's quad weak to ground. What is it about to use? Oh, uh, we got we got slowed down, so there's a good chance we get out sped here. But is there anything it can use on us? A poison move we resist. Steel is fine. You're screwed. I get a DX gamer. Good, good joke. Good joke. Can't we just magnitude this thing? Oh, this is the guy who evolves into the car in Scarlet and Violet. Okay, I know I know this one. Toxic. Who freaking cares, dude? Who freaking cares? Wait, how many Pokemon does he have? He still has the Vulpix and the Onyx. It seems like it's probably going magnitude. Which we could do, but it's a little risky to stay in. Three of our Pokemon are weak to ground. It's either our Wooloo, which can't hurt it, which we could growl it down just for a little... That did a lot. Okay. Get growled. I think we can take one more. Ah, uh, yeah, we can. A crit. All right, doesn't matter about speed. Stop critting, dude! I did nothing. Okay. Got him. Okay, no, he got rid of the... What does this have? Ice Fang went out speed, but it's super effective. This is also super effective, so we might as well do this. This is less, but this is stab, so this is gonna end up being... Two Aqua Jets should kill it, right? Easy. Easy. Easy? We're cutting it close right here. <laughs> We're cutting it close. Oh man, that was... That was borderline, but we did it. Totodile is already proving worthy as our starter. After a deathless start, we make our way through Mount Moon, facing a tricky grass terrain double battle against a super nerd in front of the fossils. A few steps later, we're ambushed by Archer of Team Rocket, who we quickly sweep with our strong job, Mightyena. Ouch. Yes, a crit, that's what we needed. That's beautiful. Okay, ooh, yeah, we take those crits, baby. Our Mightyena bites harder than his. Apparently, I, I guess, I don't, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Once we reach Cerulean, we get access to a couple of new encounters, then have to head north to Nugget Bridge to face our rival, who's gotten a buff in the 4.0 update, but not enough to make this an interesting fight. Nugget Bridge, which can be a rough part of the early game, seemed to be going well as we cleared the first five trainers without any issue. Until I came to the final fight without knowing just how much damage Kamala's last resort would do to our Alolan Dug Trio, even with the resistance. <sighs> okay, it almost killed us, even being Steel-type. Um, we might be dead. We kind of have to hope for the flinch here. I didn't bring Gyarados. Probably should have. Donphan has big defense, but he's already hurt. No one else has big defense. We have to go for it. Let's go! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> This forces us to sack a lone duck trio for our first death of the run. That beautiful blonde mane will be missed. We're able to grab a few new encounters afterward, and now we can take on the second leader, Misty. All right, let's try it. This is risky, but we're going to go for it. Did do half. That's good. Very good. He only has an orange berry. Crap. I thought he had a regular berry. 
That's fine, that's fine. He's still alive. He probably thinks we're going Thunderfang. We just go Psychic Fang. Oh, okay, he didn't go for it. But then as soon as we do it, he goes... Oh, wait, he's Grass-type. That's right. He might... Okay, yeah, we just do that. All right, nice. What's this? Psychic super effective, but we probably die. This thing is a poison ground type. I was not expecting this. If it goes for a ground move, we avoid it with this. And it can't be poison, it's so annoying. Okay, it's not bad, actually. If it has the same moveset, Recover doesn't, it's not gonna do that. Scald, it probably is not going for that over Icy Wind, which is neutral, or Psy Shock, which is Stab. It's gotta be going for Psy Shock, we're going for it. <laughs> Let's go! You love to see it, that is insane. I wanna set up another Tailwind, but, wait, I thought we got, oh, team preview. Okay, he has Buizel left. I think we can handle Buizel. We just have to take this thing out. Tailwind just petered out, which sucks. Let's just go, I guess we're just gonna go here and just do what we can. This thing's part fighting in this? You realize that, we can just go charm, actually. Uh, let's just charm it up. Oh, we're still faster, this thing's slow, man. Oh, it's super effective with po with poison jab. Forgot about that. I'm gonna charm it one more time. Oh, we'll get the, oh, he swapped out, no! You jerk! He has Icy Wind, we could just put this thing to sleep. Let's just go for Power Whip, screw it. Yeah, Power Whip, baby. Okay, this thing has poison moves. We're neutral to poison. We're weak to ground. Are we neutral to ground? Are we Are we weak to ground? Oh, we're kind of in trouble right here. We're kind of in trouble right here. We might just want to go for Power Whip. Probably just better if we survive. It's neutral, but it's really powerful. Oh, oh gosh. All right, don't die. It missed. Oh, recover. All oh, speed fell. That didn't do that much. Yes, let's go victory bell. That thing is so slow. What is this, the base speed on that thing? Oh gosh. Okay, so that's a different way of making it hard than lantern. Very interesting. If they did that and lantern, that team would be pretty intense. Pretty easy victory. I thought this game was supposed to be hard. Skipping through the rocket fight behind the dig house and several new encounters, we are now aboard the SSN. A ship that used to contain the Brick Break TM and a single required Brendan fight. Notice I say used to. All right, we definitely have one Pokemon, so we're good, right? Unless this update! <laughs> they fixed that! <laughs> you can't do that anymore! All right, wait, 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 wait. What's the last time I saved? The previous version allowed you to skip double battles if you had one Pokemon in your party, but the evil developers behind this game saw through the lies of the Jedi and made this double battle required. I allowed myself to restart and face them with a full team. Definitely fair. Don't even think about typing out a comment about the integrity of the Nuzlocke. No you, I'm talking to you. Stop that right now. Don't worry, I still managed to lose a Pokemon at the first double battle. These are tricky. Oh! Ouch, okay, they went for the other one. Fortunately, the Sailor Duo sporting Gulp Missile, Cramorant, and a litany of Storm Drain Pokemon doesn't give us much issue. One Pokemon loss to these two fights could be a lot worse. But you know what could be better? Being able to skip them. We still have to fight Brendan for the first time this run to get access to the captain's room and get cut. I'm talking about the HM cut, okay? That sounds weird, but the HM cut. All right, buddy, what you got? Might want to set up Tailwind while I'm in. Then I could go Mighty Enna, Thunderfang. Tailwind, Mighty Enna, Thunderfang. Or do we just go for the damage? Oh, I just pressed it. Oh, we're alive. Uh, are we faster? I don't know. I hope we are. I almost used Scary Face. That would have been bad. Okay, we took that out. That was scary. Okay, he's back to Loudred, interestingly enough. Perfect, perfect. He wasn't minus attack, but... Okay, he's going Power Gym here, probably. Can we take a Power Gym? We could Aqua Fang. We might just outspeed and kill this thing. Yeah, we just go into Dawn Fan. Yeah, yeah, and then go Ice Shark. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, super effective. He got his berry. This should kill. Yes. Okay. All right. Grovile definitely going for Leaf Blade. Let's just go here. A crit? That sucks. Oh, do we outspeed now? I think we're okay, though, because a crit... Yeah, we're okay. Even if... Yeah, we're good. Okay. Well done. Well done. After obtaining Cut, I decided to skip Lieutenant Surge due to not having great matchups for his team and make my way through Rock Tunnel to unlock Lavender Town and Celadon City. But first, we have to go through Picnicker, Caitlyn, and the meme team of the century on Route 9. Her objectively weak Pokemon know some of the game's strongest moves, or they know assists, which allows them to use those moves from other Pokemon in the party. Her Spinda is especially tricky due to its ability contrary, boosting its stats every time a move like Close Combat would normally lower them. I spent extra time planning for this one because losing Pokemon to this team will never stop being embarrassing, and fortunately we make it through unscathed. Hat is too powerful. Oh, we did it! Curse you, Picnicker! You little jerk! After carefully traversing Rock Tunnel, we gain access to a ton of new encounters, evolutions, and items for our team, which will really help for Lieutenant Surge. Oh, come 
on! Speaking of the buff boomer man who doesn't just want to beat you in Pokemon, but also literally wants to electrocute you, it's finally time to take on Surge. Can we beat him? That's the question. All right, baby. Give him that whip. Let's go! That's how you start! All right, here he goes. Uh, Manetric. What was our plan for this again? Do we have a Pokemon for this? I feel like we forgot to plan for Mega Manetric. All right, we're doing this. That did a lot. It's probably just going for Flame Burst again. So I'm just going to Bulldoze, I think. Yeah, if they changed it to Ice, we're screwed. They didn't. Okay, good. Speed fell. What is this? Belly bolts? Oh, I forgot to look. We can see. What'd they switch? It's two different Pokemon! Okay, so there's no Vicavolt. There's no Bolton. This thing is what? Electric type. We could just go for... What do we think this thing has? It has to have coverage. I bet it has a hidden power ice. Are we faster? If we're faster, we can U-turn. 45 speed. So we just U-turn out of here. And we U-turn into something that can take a water or an ice move. A wait, electromorphosis? What, the what does that do? Hit by a move, it becomes charged, boosting the power of its elect electric type move. Okay. I don't like that. The problem is if we go loony, it resists ice, but it doesn't resist water. This resists water, but doesn't resist ice. This resists neither. We could go here and, and we could encore it. We could swap into something that could resist it and then take it down. That might be the play. Is that a water type move? Oh no, we got burned by the flame orb. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> this is backfiring. Okay, if it's a water move, we could go to retro. All right, victory bill it is. Ah, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna power whip. Do we go here and encore again? Aha! Let's go. Yes, that's how you do it, baby. Uh, we're probably not faster than this, are we? I think we probably sack retro. All right, I think it's Gliscor now. Nice. Okay. Oh, do we outspeed this? I don't remember how fast this thing was. Uh, he has two more. Yeah, it has to be Steelix. Gosh, that's a lot. Oh, it's so close. We need the these two just to make sure we don't lose to the Alolan Raichu. If Savant would survive, we could bait an electric attack. Then we could swap here and then go facade because we would outspeed, I think. It might be random now, though. He's gonna ice punch. True ice punch. But no, it's probably random, though, because he has a couple... Because a lot of moves probably kill here. It's random between ice punch, drain punch, probably. But if it went for ice punch, we could just go here. All right, let's go for this. It went for drain punch. Ouch, we're in trouble. We might have to go fire fang sucker punch. But if he drain punches, we're gonna take a ton. Yeah, he's just sucking all up. He got burned. He got burned. We might be able to go to Goldie. Or should we just stay in? Just stay in and fire fang. Is Sucker Punch enough? It might not be, but we have to do it. All right. Okay. Okay. We took it out. Free swap. Free swap. This works. If it goes for nasty plot, we're in trouble. Because it can't hit with Psy Shock. It can Volt Switch. And, and it can Grass Knot. I think we can survive both. It did. It did. One HP. There's the Sash. Let's go! We're alive! It was not pretty, but we're alive, baby. Oh, it was not pretty. We lost some good Pokemon. Well, not the prettiest fight, but the run continues. This was our first time losing multiple Pokemon, but we didn't lose anything too important. I mean, some of those Pokemon were good, but it could have been worse. And since we already did the Rock Tunnel Trek, we can go straight to the fourth gym leader, Erica. Usually this is one of the easier gyms in the game. It's just hard to make a full grass team good. But that doesn't mean I didn't spend an hour planning for this fight. Here we go. Erica time. Rillaboom. We could raise the speed. No reason to. Let's just do this. I wonder if U-turn's gonna kill here. I think U-turn's gonna kill here. Let's just go for a dual wing beat. Just take it out. Yeah, so he goes to Electrode. He's definitely going for Thunderbolt, which is why we should have brought a ground type. Um... I wasn't expecting that. Venusaur, dadgummit. Uh, we could find out what he's gonna do. Sleep powder. Okay, he's going sleep powder. Let's just go here. Uh, facade. That's our move. He's hit us again. Come on, you jerk! Let's just go here. We recover. He recover. Dude, that's recovering a lot. Okay, good. Okay, we bait the earth power. Could be going giga, but we can take that too. Let's just go for dual wing beat. 
Okay, nice. Well done. Oh, wait, now it's now it's dark type. Oh, we can just U-turn because we're faster. We could U-turn and it's probably going for the, the thing. It didn't kill. Okay, what can survive? Knock off again. Okay, first impression. Boom. Okay, last Pokemon, right? Probably going for Hidden Power Fire. So we just go in here, right? If he goes for anything else, we resist it. Oh, it has nothing. That hard walls it, dude. Holy crap. Other than that freaking explosion, what a loser, man. Erica's being a jerk. She knew she wasn't going to win, so she's like, I'm taking one with me. I think her electrode heard me disrespect his queen. The man sacrificed himself at full HP just so she could snipe one of our mons. SMH, man. After this fight, the game turns into a massive boss rush. We have to traverse the rocket hideout to face Giovanni 1, a very tough fight in previous versions, and arguably even tougher now. Fortunately, we have access to the Game Corner Pokemon and TMs before we have to take him on. We even hatched the Radical Red exclusive version of Noivern, which is a rock ground Pokemon with Levitate in this game. After carefully prepping our team, we take on the leader of Pokemon's most notorious crime ring. All right, let's go. Here we go. Giovanni. Icicle Crash. Oh, free hit? Did nothing. Okay, swapped. Okay, okay. Oh, we have to swap in, which sucks. He's definitely going for Raging Bull, though, which means we're gonna resist it, which is good. Okay, maybe he's not definitely going for that. Um. Yes. One shot, baby. Well done, LeBron. Probably going for Night Slash. Hopefully he goes for Sucker Punch. That'd be sick. We got Dexter for this. Ouch! Sucker Punch, probably. <gasps> it got burned! It got burned! The burn saved him! No! Okay, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, we didn't even go... One HP, okay, uh, that's fun. Orthworm, okay, you are probably going for an Iron Head or something. Okay, good, good, okay. Uh, he's going for Fake Out, so now we go back here. Okay, we just U-turn. Okay, good, good, good. I almost blew it by messing that up. So I think it's just you turn into LeBron, hoping for an Ice Beam, and then go for Psychic. Gosh, you had to pick Thunderbolt! I hate you! All right, well, that's fine. Okay, two losses. That's unfortunate. Um... Uh, this is just making this so much more awkward. Can we kill it? We have nothing that hits this thing. He's probably going for Earthquake, so we just get a free swap. Okay, Ori goes for that, just to be annoying. Now he's going for Thunderbolt again. We have a U-turn. Gosh, this Nidoking has turned out really annoying. You know, you know we can, wait, wait. U-turn, Thunderbolt. He goes for Earth Power. We swap back. U-turn again. Yeah, just keep doing that over and over. We've got a couple of U-turners that we can do, so we just... Man, that barely does anything. Gosh, we're taking a lot of damage, though. And at some point, it's going to be random move, which is going to be really bad. Oh, it's going to be random move at some point. Oh! Ice Shard would probably not kill. It'll do 80 plus stab. What, 120 here? 46 to 55. So it's like right in the middle. It's got a chance of killing it. All right, all right, should we go for it? I think it's right in the middle. It's a range. We're definitely gonna die on a freaking one HP. All right, Sicktendo says he's got it. Let's go. No, oh, let's go. The roll was enough, baby. Oh, oh, that was way too close. Okay, that fight did not go as well as I hoped, for sure. We nearly escaped massive losses by hitting a roll with Stick Tendo, the Alolan Sand Slash, but still take a couple of casualties. Deaths are starting to mount now. While climbing Lavender Town for the Rocket Storyline, we're forced to face the Ghost Marowak, a staple of the original game. But the Radical Red version is much different. A two-level advantage and the Radical Red exclusive ability Bone Zone, which is an ability that doubles not very effective moves, essentially making resisted moves unresisted. This Ghost Fire Pokemon is an absolute beast to beat without taking any casualties. Fortunately, the Marowak cooperates this time it doesn't KO any of our Pokemon. Now, sure, the Marowak went well, but now we have to face back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back boss fights in Silphco, starting with our rival. This doesn't go quite as well. Dr. P! All right, Star Raptor. Intimidate. Gotta, gotta remember that. Might U-turn. Let's find out. Okay, not bad. We probably want a King Shield here. Oh, he's going for U-turn. Okay, if he's gonna U-turn, maybe Darmanitan? If he goes to Darmanitan, this is super effective. Now, I'm guessing he won't do that, but if he does, that'd be great. 
Oh, Venusaur. Okay. Venusaur is definitely not going for Sludge Bomb. Earth Power, probably, right? If it's going for Earth Power, we just pivot straight to Pelipper. Because it's got to be going for Earth Power, right? Or Sleep Powder. Oh, that's why I forgot about Sleep Powder. It's definitely going for that. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to test it out. Earth Power. It is going for Earth Power. Please don't change it up. Please don't change it up. Oh, you jerk! Dad comment. I hate when they do that. All I had to do was put the berry on him. It'd be fine. All right, let's just let's just try. All right, now we have a problem. Let's do it. Oh, we went for U-turn. The heck? We could go here, who will... He'll be able to take water moves pretty easily. We just, could just Toxic Protect stall it. That might not be a bad move. Let's do that. That did a lot, man. Come on, it missed! Is it better to knock off? He resists it. We probably better to Toxic, right? Got it. Oh, crap! I didn't think it would kill! We simply flinch him. Oh, we're not surviving one hit, so I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to kill him. Good, thank goodness, thank goodness, my goodness. Probably go here. If he goes for Swords Dance, we can just outspeed in close combat. We have to go here anyway. Ha! Sucker punch, sucker! Big mistake. Okay, now I think we might should go Brick Break, unless it's a guaranteed kill, because we can take any hit. I think. Why did I give him an item to get knocked off? That's stupid. It does not through berry. Oh, frick. So we just go for this. Wait, what about first impression? Okay, this should kill, right? Let's go, baby. Okay, now how do we kill this thing? We swap to here, start the drizzle. This is Star Raptor. This, is, this can handle Star Raptor. We go here, start the drizzle. Stop U-turning, you jerk. Oh, this makes it so much more awkward when you do that. Rain mates thunder. They both can have freaking U-turns, so they can just go back and forth as we swap. Stupid Pelipper. Stop snoozing, you little jerk. If we go to Aegis Slash, we go to Rock Slash. Actually, Aegis Slash can just Rock Slide. No matter what he does, it's going to be super effective. Yeah, let's do that. Haha. -ha. But he's faster. Oh, wait, he's faster. Maybe we just risk it, and then if, we, and then if, we get, if he dies, then we can go into here for free right really the worst case scenario is u-turn that's the worst case scenario if i swap let's just do it screw it thank goodness thank goodness screw it let's do it you piece of crap i hate you okay let's just go for the let's go for the crit okay went for the u-turn okay i think we could i think we're gonna die i'm not planning on two attacks i think we're probably dying to his move so i'm gonna go aqua jet he went U-turn. Now we just win. Now we just win. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. U-turn coming in clutch for us. Okay. Oh, gosh. Thank you. All right. That got a little ugly. We lost a couple Pokemon. We escaped by the skin of our teeth, and it isn't over. We have to go into a double battle with Brendan against two Rockets. This one comes down to RNG in a lot of ways, and we really need Brendan to go insano here. We got this. Easy. Hopefully, we don't get faked out. Didn't fake me out. Nice. Masquerade, live! Okay, good. Masquerade is gonna hit this time. Okay, without the berry, we should kill here. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna Dark Pulse. Okay, that's what I thought would happen, but... Oh, we got a flinch! Worth it! I think we just Dark Pulse this thing. I think we just go for that. Good damage. Oh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. We take this thing out. Maybe I'll go for a Water Pulse here and let Sceptile finish this thing. Nice, okay. Let's go, perfect. Uh, do I just stay in at this point? And just Aura Sphere? Which one are we most worried about? Oh, uh, this is the only one we can hit. I think I just stay in an Aura Sphere and he might attack the Pre-Marina. Oh, what HP, oh, we're alive. No, oh, so close. That's okay, you did a great job, man. You did a great job. Mega Drain. 
Ah! Oh! oh wait, oh wait, there's one more Pokemon, isn't there? Could protect and just let it hit it. Should have attacked. Okay, flamethrower is gonna kill it. Oh, we got sturdy. Let's just go here. Nice. Okay, well done. Fortunately, he does, and even with the good RNG, we lose another Pokemon. We're bleeding mons left and right, but the run goes on. The final self co boss is Giovanni 2, and after how Giovanni 1 went, I'm very nervous. Giovanni, prepare to die! All right, hip out on. Okay, we're gonna take da a little damage when we do this. Aha! Take that. That's a lot. That's quite a lot. With Sandstorm damage, we might die. We have to set up Rain Dance, though. We have to. We have to do Rain Dance. He set up the rocks again. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, actually. That's fine. Okay, he goes into Guard Chomp. I guess we just got to go straight into it, right? Oh, we went for the Dragon move. Let's go. Swords Dance. Uh-oh, that's scary. No! He <laughs> one-shot it. That did like zero. They did like zero. It got defense drop. Okay, let's go here. There goes our freaking sturdy. Kangaskhan, all right, fake out. Here you come. And then we got these stupid rocks up for this. We're very even. We're not gaining much advantage here. Problem is we're gonna take it damage from rocks here. A lot of damage. Ouch, ouch, that's a lot of damage. Okay, Barry is very helpful here. We might just be able to kill this in two more turns. Okay, let's just kill this thing with Rock Blast. That was closer than it needed to be. All right, we're in on the, the weird thing. Okay, this thing is super slow. It is Rock type. So we just U-turn in the Glide Score. Ouch. Do we defog or not? Because the defog is going to knock off Excadrill's Focus Sash, which is really big. It'll also lower Torterra or not. Ah, oh, it sucks because yeah, it's already it's already broken our sturdy anyway. Let's just do this. Okay, we're pacing it right now, but it is also outpacing our leftovers. Okay, do we just sword stance one more time here? I'm going to go for it. Okay, we're good. We're good. That was too close. I could go for a bulldoze and just try to kill it. Do you think we kill with bulldoze here at double swords dance? I'll survive. Oh, we need HP. Let's freaking go. I wish we had dual wing beat, man. I knew I was going to want to have dual wing beat. Dude, if I had dual wing beat right now, U turn. U turn. U turn. U turn. Let's freaking go. Gly score carries us oh! and you know what if i just had pelipper we probably have been fine what a freaking w right there Whew. another insanely rough fight but savant the glide score clutched up in the biggest way saving the run surely we get a break now right obviously not this is radical red we have to face one of the hardest double battle fights in the game so far sabrina and yes i did spend an hour planning only to immediately throw on my very first move Here's what happened. All right, Sabrina, you wiped us last time, but not in 4.0. 4.0 is where we take back our crown. Is that thing shiny? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going for Iron Head here, and then we taunt. Uh, I threw. <laughs> we were taunting! I forgot! <laughs> it's over. It's over. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's over, dude. We are so dead. Oh, we're so dead. I guess, I guess these two. Here comes the Ursaluna. It's about to wax us. All right, here comes the Porygon. This thing knows Thunderbolt. So that's going to kill Gyarados. I'm going to go for a Yawn here. Problem is it might kill us in one shot. It's probably going for the Snorlax, right? Or are they doubling up on Gyarados? Maybe I can yawn protect. You can't yawn. Oh, he's burned. That's right. We just have to swap then. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to swap here and then we're going to swap here. Okay, went for Gyarados. That, that hurts. All right, let's do this. We're dead. Screw it. Hey, we're alive. Barely. Okay, this thing is knock off close combat. That's gonna hurt. 
Ouch. Teleport. Interesting. Good swap, good swap, train return to normal, okay. Okay, it's faster now. How in the world did we win? <laughs> it didn't feel like a win, but somehow we won. Somehow after throwing out our entire plan, Snorlax clutched and saved a wipe. Sabrina's trick room team can easily end a run, so I was thankful to escape with a run intact, even after losing three Pokemon. I literally tried as hard as possible to lose that, but Snorlax is just that good. After taking a second to regroup after my incredibly horrible throw attempt, we have to choose a route to go down to Fuchsia. We can take the longer way of routes 12, 13, 14, and 15 with mini boss fights all along the way, or go down the biker path, which is shorter, but also contains 10 mini boss fights basically in a row. I choose the biker path, which starts with a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back mini boss fight there's no breaks in between so you got to fight all three straight oh and then i mentioned the bosses are in permanent sandstorm fortunately we can lead our drizzle pelipper and stop any of the sandstorm shenanigans before they even start Woo! we're alive that first fight did not go as planned the, the other two were not too bad not too bad we make it through all six of the bosses unscathed but bird keeper jacob ends our streak taking out two of our pokemon with one being completely avoidable due to a forgotten speed drop we outspeed though right 70 speed yeah we got out speed okay so we just hit with an icicle crash or ice hammer what we out speed for sure ice hammer speed drops oh i didn't know that no the next battle is a required double battle and a scary one at that. With a Mega Lapras that knows Boom Burst and the ability Liquid Voice, this team is just waiting to take out a few of our Pokemon. But it goes much better than expected. All right, here we go. Hit Protect, hit Protect. Okay, went for the bubble move. So we go for Spore here, and we go for High Horsepower here. Oh, 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 perfect! Let's go! That was beautiful! Yes. And he was seated. Let's go. All right, Lapras is still asleep. We got to focus this thing. Ice Beam, we have our we have our thing on, so we're good. I think we just Sappy Seed, focus the Lapras, make sure it dies. I don't think we protect. We got to get rid of this Lapras ASAP. We don't want it to wake up. It, it's it's two on one right now. We just we just focus it. Oh, he withdrew. He withdrew, and I high horse powered it. Oh, he saved the life. Oh, let's go. We're good. Let's go. Nice. Oh, we got frostbite. Oh, and we one shot. Ah, oh, let's go. We clear the final mini boss easily as well, and we have access to Fuchsia City. This is the farthest I've ever made it in Radical Red, including the previous versions. The only previous time I made it here, I was jump scared by Brendan in front of the Safari Zone. Now to take out our vengeance on him and make this my best Radical Run Nuzlocke ever. All right, we're ready for you this time, Brendan. Your little jump scare didn't work again at Stuss this time. Here we go. Okay, Swords Dance again. Oh no, it's plus four. We're we gonna die to Bullet Seed. Ah! <laughs> no! No! Oh, we should have attacked with the Orcorio. Okay, we have to go Shadow Sneak. Hopefully it kills. It's gonna be close. We have to go for it and hopefully Shadow Sneak's enough. We will have 216 attack, which is not bad. Yes, well done. Well done, Descent. What's he going for here? Crunch? If he locks in the Crunch, we might want to go to Mike and just take small amount of damage. And then we could... Well, he's going to lock either way, so... It went Liquidation. <gasps> it went Liquidation. Okay, it's swapping for sure. Now we Spore. Dang it, it did. now it's definitely going to swap. Or not, it's just going to let us kill it. Okay, all right, X-Blob. Was it Mike we were going to use? Mike we're going to use, right? Uh, We just Toxic, I think. Either way, if he swaps, it's good. <sighs> That's a lot. All right, Giga Drain's barely going to keep us alive. Oh, no crit, thankfully. Okay, we should be able to finish it now. 
That was close. Oh wait, we didn't protect. Oh yeah, we didn't protect last turn, did we? Is he locked into close combat now? Because if he is, we're free. All right. What are his other Pokemon? Gardevoir. Let's go Iron Head, because if he swaps, Iron Head crushes it. How long is he locked? He's locked in for the whole time, right? Okay. Yes, let's go. Wait, we can stay in for a Thunderbolt, right? Yeah, we just Iron Head. We take a Thunderbolt because we're in defensive stance, and then Iron Head. Bro! Thank you. That was annoying. Let's go! Brendan has been defeated. Only one loss. Unfortunately, a loss. Weezing was a nice Pokemon. But overall, a pretty good fight right there. The farthest way we have gone in Radical Red in our first run of 4.0. Let's go, chat. It wasn't perfect, but we managed to defeat Brendan and make this my best run yet. And it's still not over. Let's see how far I can push this. It's here that I discovered that Radical Red requires you to rematch the first four gym leaders in order to face Koga. So I went back to beat a couple of non-required fights, like the Mudkip Kid to get the Earthquake TM. I hate Mudkips with a passion. You love to see it. You love to see it. Earthquake, baby. And Chuck to get the Focus Sash item. The Sash of Destiny. Our newest item, the Focus Sash. After this, I decided to go back where we started and face Brock, the first gym leader. After realizing that this entire fight would be in permanent sandstorm, I reworked my team to include Pelipper and his drizzle ability, and even used Thief on Wild Pelipper to get the damp rock for this fight. No mistake, time for cake. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is the Pelipper. Ooh, that was it, wasn't it? Ah, we be damping. Let's freaking go. I told you that was it. That took a while. Damp Rock is only held by 5% of Wild Pelipper, and those only show up 20% of the time. Thank goodness for speed up. Now we're ready to face Brock, or so I thought. Brock, I'm, I'm back, baby. Great Tusk! Rain, rain, don't go away. So our first move set up Tailwind, just as Count Dooku predicted. Now we defog. Ouch. Surf away, blow that Elefante away. Good start, good start, just as we want it. Oma Star, okay. He didn't show Smash! He didn't smash. All right, we get to heal. Destroy that Oma Star. Let's go. Way more HP than I was expecting to have. All right, here it comes. The big boy, Aerodactyl. Let's get to the sheep. I figured he would earthquake. Thunder Wave, I get. We could protect for a turn, but then that's dangerous with Dragon Dance. I think we'd probably just go for Thunder Wave. Okay, he did go for Dragon Dance. Kind of scary. All right, let's max out. He's he's gonna freaking dance to six, man. Oh, we are so screwed. That's at plus six. It does that much at plus six. Oh, you're too crazy. You're too crazy. Okay, nice, nice. We could stall out stone edges. That's the goal. Yes. All right, this is it. You have got this. Do you get a paralysis turn? Oh, the crit! No! No! We're so screwed. He's plus three. He's getting outspeed everybody still. Uh, I guess we should go for surf. There it is. Of course, not paralyzed. Who would have thought? Pelipper. You were a good Pokemon. Oh, he has a wing beat. It doesn't matter. What? I'm so stupid. Oh, I forgot. It doesn't matter. There was there was nothing we could do. I forgot about that. This fight's over. What a dumb way. What a dumb way to die. I thought we had hope for a second. Oh, he crit too. Dude, paralysis is the worst status condition ever. Why didn't I do this a long time ago and intimidate? I'm so dumb! Intimidate would have made a difference, I think. Oh, I'm so stupid. I think we have to go for this. Oh, now you're finally paralyzed. 
Oh my gosh. Now we got three more Pokemon. Can we take them out with Sod? You take this. Easy. Problem is we're gonna get waxed by Arcanine. <laughs> that didn't kill. Are you freaking kidding me? Get punched. What? How does that do nothing? Oh my goodness. Talk about no damage. We definitely get outsped, right? We just die. Is there anything we can do? Sucker punch? This is quad effective, so we just gotta go for this, right? We're dead. Rip. What a lame way to die. Well, Mega Aerodactyl is a fast Pokemon. If you enjoyed this run and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch to be a part of Throwing Runs Live. See you next time.